Okay, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make black water, and then I'm going to be tasting it too. A few videos ago, somebody suggested in the comments section if I could do a video on black water. And I had never heard of black water before, so I had to look it up and see what it is. Black water is a fairly new health drink that's come onto the market. It even showed up in the Emmy Awards gift bag recently. So I wanted to try it myself and see what it actually tastes like and then try to make my own. So the packaging of this says BLK, premium alkaline water. It says go deep beneath the surface and discover the power of fulvic trace minerals. Sounds good, right? But this is supposed to be water, but it's pure black. <laughs> so what is in this stuff? Doesn't have a smell to it. It kind of looks like flat Coke or something. Coke without carbonation. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a try, see what it tastes like, and then I'll show you what's actually in this stuff and see if I can make my own, and then talk about if you should even be drinking it or not. <laughs> okay, here we go, drinking black water. Hmm. There's no taste to it whatsoever. That's surprising. I expected there to be kind of an earthy taste to it. Hmm. Yeah, not bad. It just tastes like I'm drinking regular water. It's a little more bitter tasting than regular water though. So what is actually in this expensive black water that all the hype is about? So the first thing that they claim is in this is fulvic acid, or they say fulvic trace minerals. And I have here some fulvic acid. Some people use this as a vitamin supplement, even though it's not necessarily needed by humans. But you can see that this has kind of a strong smell to it. Even in very high concentrations, it's a very light brown color. So you can tell that this dark black is not coming from fulvic acid, but it's coming from something else that they don't list on here. So the black color in this doesn't come from fulvic acid, but it comes from something called humic acid. Humic acid is kind of a catch-all phrase that talks about the final breakdown component of all organic matter. So everything that decays eventually over time turns back into soil and becomes this humic substance, or they call them humic acids. And I went ahead and bought some humic acid here. Oh, so I can show you how black it is. It's extremely black here. It's this very, very dark pigment color here. And this is what's actually making black water black. So now let's see if I can make my own. So I have water just from my tap, and conveniently enough, it's about right at a pH of eight. So does it really matter what pH of water you drink? Well, no, because the pH of your stomach is very low anyway. So any water that you drink immediately becomes a very low pH when it goes in your stomach. And also, the pH of your blood is extremely well controlled. It stays right between 7.35 and 7.45. If you get outside of those ranges, you'll die. So your body has systems in place already in order to control the pH of your blood. Okay, so first, let's turn our water black here. So I'm going to be using just a little bit of this humic acid. Let's see if it can turn this whole volume of water black. Just with about one teaspoon of humic acid here, I made this entire volume turn black, or at least the same consistency as the black water here. And you can see the colors are very similar now. And now to get our black water just right, we, gotta, we can't forget our fulvic acid in it. Give it a few drops. And I have now made black water. Okay, let's go ahead and test my black water now. Looks good. Yep, so we've got exactly the same taste here. I made my own black water at home. Take that Emmy Awards gift bag. So fulvic acid is something that some people take, but it's not a necessary vitamin for the human body. Whereas humic acid, it hasn't even been determined if it's safe for humans to eat. And also, it's not very well controlled what is even in humic acid. And because humic acid is such a broad term that you don't really know what you're drinking and there's no safe levels of it. 
Most likely this is in a very low concentration because you saw how little amount I had to put in to turn this whole thing black. Humic acid is just broken down plants anyways. We already know the health benefits of just eating plants, eating broccoli, eating spinach. You might as well just go ahead and eat actual plants instead of eating this expensive black water. Now since I didn't make real black water, how can we make actual water black? Well, it actually just depends on what wavelength of light you're looking at. In the visible spectrum, water is transparent. But if you move to the infrared spectrum, then water becomes black. Let me show you. I have here a thermal imaging camera. You can see my hand on it here. My hand is this red blob. And when I put it behind the bag here, you can still see my hand because the infrared light can go through the bag. But watch what happens when I move it below the water now. You can see it just disappears. So the water is now absorbing the infrared light from my hand. So water in the infrared range is black. So if you want to have true black water, just look at it through the infrared spectrum. <sighs> I love this stuff. I'm glad I talked them out of buying this stuff so it leaves more for me. Oh, hey everybody, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video's out. And head over to theactionlab.com to check out my Action Lab subscription box where I send you quarterly experiments that you can do on your own similar to the ones that you've seen me do on my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.